Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we are taking, not really taking a look, but it is a simple teaser about Topogon 3. So the guys from Pixel Machine, creators of Topogon, have actually released a brand new trailer to this tool. Of course, we've talked about Topogon previously last week or some, some, some time ago. And it has to do with, you know, them saying they're coming out with a couple of features for the new tool. But of course, it's always refreshing to see when these guys kind of demo this tool themselves and show you guys what and what or show everyone what and what the tool is going to be like so with this said i'm just simply going to let this roll so that you guys can take a look for yourself and see how it is of course we're still yet to be in contact with the guys from pixel machine and once we establish a very good communication i'll probably be able to lay my hands on top of gun free and you know we'll do a simple review about that And it's just pretty cool to see that, you know, the guys from Pixel Machine are still looking at this awesome tool that everyone seems to have loved and liked over a period of time. And they're doing all they can to get this tool back on track. And that's going to be about it. I'd like to know what you guys think about the reel that you've just taken a look at. Tell me what you guys think about it. There is a couple of, you know, cool tools that I got to see that I like, which I think should be implemented in so many other tools as well. Although Topogon has been a tool that is, you know, known across the industry for doing very good with topology. I would still love to see, you know, if some other third party DCC apps can implement these things in. Tools that has to do with the patch tool and, you know, the bridging. I just love the way that you can actually play around with doing your topology directly here. And of course, the automatic topology is also something pretty cool that I would love to see, you know, come to some other tools as well. Of course, it seems to be like Topogon is late to the game owing to the fact that tools like ZBrush, Blender, Maya, and so many other tools out there, they seem to have already have that integration of natively making or doing retopology and having, you know, native retopology tools. Things that also got my attention right here has to do with the contextual bar, the pie menu, and also the total interface altogether. And yeah, this is definitely going to be about it. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace